Leslie Beltran's parents divorced when she was 11, and at 15, she got pregnant and dropped out of high school. Three years later, Leslie enrolled in Casada, a Catholic school in Fort Worth. She works full time to take care of her son, and she plans to attend college and become a nurse. So when you first got pregnant, did you think, okay, I have to drop out of school? Were there options for you, but you just didn't want to consider them at the time? How, how did that all work out? After I got pregnant, education really didn't cross my mind. It didn't seem as important to me as, it, as having the baby and working hard. Four months after my son was born is when I actually start, got my first job and started working. I'm still there. I just felt like education was is my only way out. I don't want to be there forever. So what do you want to be now? I want to be a registered nurse. What made you think about nursing? I think, honestly, my whole experience with my pregnancy, since then I started, I just enjoyed the care so much. Besides you, who do you think has always believed that you would graduate and then go on to college? Well, honestly, I don't, my mom, hasn't been around, been around ever since my pregnancy. And I could say a little bit even before that. Are you still in contact with your dad? Yes, with my dad he has. It was just when, after having my baby, I had always lived, well even during my pregnancy, I was living with my baby's father. So um, my, me and my dad and my mom, we kinda, we didn't keep in touch as much. Mm -hmm. That was just more of, my baby's father and me and thinking about our baby and even when he was born it was just the three of us and much support of his family they were very supportive my mom wasn't my mom wasn't as supportive she she kind of um that hurts yeah it does it does because i would i would have wished she was there Maybe. i wanted her there do you think there's still a chance for that someday? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so because, um, like, I don't hold nothing against her. I don't, she's my mom, and I will always love my mom. It's just, now I look at it as in, we should just keep her distance. I don't, she, would, she wasn't there when I most needed her and I really wanted her there. I needed her. What was the turning point for you? I think it was when I split with my baby's father. I looked at so many things. I looked at where my life was gonna be at, what I needed to do for myself and my son to be good and to be, I just thought about our future. And I think that when me and my baby's father had split is when I realized that I don't need I kind of don't need no no one to stop me from what I want, for what I need to go for. What are the reasons that you think graduating from high school really matters to you? Now, of course, it's my son. It's my son, and I want to be a good role model. I didn't think about all these things when I had him. I was just thinking about how I was going to work to provide him with this and to provide him with whatever it was he needed. Since you went back to school, was there ever a point where you came close to giving up? Yes, actually. There was a point where I was like, I can't work and school and my son having to know or to see where he's going to be at. I, I honestly thought I wasn't going to be able to go back to school. After dropping out for three years, I was like, oh my God, my, my mind's going to be blank. I'm not going to know anything. I don't know what to do. But. In the end, I know I know it's going to pay off, and I know I need to do it, especially for him. I want him to be able to see me graduate, and of course, because I will be graduating with him by my side. 